Water for All started in 1984 by the employees of Atlas Copco. So this has from the beginning been something that is very much part of the company and the employees. And at the time, the first project was in Peru. And one asked the headquarters in Stockholm if, if it was okay that they collected money to help to drill for water. My father, being the chairman at the time, felt with his history of traveling around Africa uh, as a salesperson for Atlas Copco, that this was a really, really good and interesting project and said the company has to help in one way or another. And they then took a decision that they will double the money that the employees collected. And that has continued since 1984. When our father passed away, we said that, you know, please don't send flowers. There is an organization that he really, really liked, and that is the organization Water for All within Atlas Copco. So if you want to do something, please contribute to that organization. My father had a lot of friends, so the amount of money that came into this organization was enormous. So we decided together with Atlas Copco that it was better to see to it that this was a foundation where we could use the contribution from that foundation, the investments that that foundation is doing, to help Water for All as a whole in certain projects. So all Water for All organizations around the world can apply for money into the foundation for projects that they would like to do around the world. The Water for All Foundation wanted to, in one way or another, show the work that is being done through Water for All within Atlas Copco and Epiro. So we decided to, on a yearly basis, give out an award to a country, an organization, whoever is working within Water for All for Atlas Copco and Epiro around the world, to show the appreciation and, and to show the work that is being done. And uh, the winner will have the opportunity to visit the project. We're, we're giving that opportunity to do you want to learn more by seeing how other work or do you want to see what you, what you have done yourself? So it's up to the winner to decide where they want to go. So it's a, it's a way for us to try to widen the knowledge about what these people actually are doing. They are all voluntaries, so I mean they are doing this on, on uh, their free time. Water is the most important thing we as humans need. And in large parts of the world, in many areas that I have to admit, I didn't understand we had a lack of water. I mean, we still have lack of water in part of Eastern Europe. The question around clean water is not just about third world countries. It's actually about the world. With the experience that I have received through working with Water for All and being down in Malawi, for example, one can realize that you come to a village that doesn't have clean water. They walk two, three kilometers to get water every day. And who does that? Yeah, it's the girls and the mothers who do this. And when we drill a well in these uh, villages, if you come back a year, a year and a half later, you realize that the girls are in school and the mothers have become entrepreneurs. I mean, they grow things or they have chickens and they go to the market. So you, you realize that water is not only for survival, it's also about development. To travel with Water for All is quite an, an amazing experience. And, and when we started to go to Malawi and meet them, go out with them, and we were fortunate enough to come to a village where the drilling equipment just arrived, and uh, we were invited to uh, the head of the community to inaugurate the drilling and, and uh, I was allowed to start to see to it that the drill started to go into the ground. Yeah, I pushed the button. <laughs> and this is very important when it comes to Water for All. It's not just to go and drill a well. It's also to teach the community about hygiene and they also educate the people of the village how to maintain the well. Because if, if we look at Malawi, when we traveled around, we saw a lot of non-working wells. Uh, and the reason for that is that nobody told them how to keep the pumps working. So that's also a very important part of Water for All, is to not just drill and leave, it's to teach before about hygiene, and then see to it that the wells can actually continue to survive 
uh, and educate them on how to service the pups. I think still the main thing is to see that the young people are actually being able to go to school. That the younger girls who are the one that used to have to go and, and fetch water can now actually get an education because that is the future. Water for All is a fantastic example of how we all can help. It can seem that it is in a very small way, but it has a huge impact. And that really inspires me. And I'm a proud member of the Atlas Copco Epiro community because I think what they do is amazing. <laughs>